Yes, done. Okay, here we go. We have a good class, and we've got people watching later. Preston Place, nice and popular. Look, no decorations, all gone. Doesn't it look boring? Haven't turned the computer around yet because I've been too busy. Right, okay. Feet, either side of the beam. Everybody's got a beam user. Day Trace is legit, the resident pirate, so that's good. Okay, all on side, guys. Let's start getting that body weight distribution left and right. I got it, I did think about leaving the living room like this, but I've got to turn it around because I've got more creaky floorboards over there. That's it. Keep rocking up, guys. Keep rolling it. I click Ali. Ali in. All right. Hasn't it gone cold? So let's think about that return of circulation. There. I wonder why my windows are steamed up this morning because it went freezing cold last night. Good. Rolling the feet forwards, equal body weight distribution. Curl the toes up as well. We tend to when we start getting cold, curl those toes down, relax them down. The more relaxed you are, the more blood that gets through the tissues. Therefore, better return and the warmer we are. Remember when it's cold, we burn more calories because the body's working harder to stay nice and warm. It doesn't mean you can eat more cakes and drink more whatever you want to drink, okay? Right, hips forward, butt out to the rear. What it does mean is that we've got to increase our food intake to a healthy diet with carbohydrates and we've got to keep the water going in as well, not drinking less because we think it's cold. Let's just gently bend those knees. So roll the feet forwards to the balls of the feet then past the balls of the feet. There's more as a push down really, I suppose, to there, as the legs become springs like shock absorbers, don't they? Just dipping it down. You're going down to where you feel comfortable, working a few extra. I may put the, today, the daily challenge on the end of the day session and see how we get on. Down we go, there, and then back up again. Hips forward, rock to the rear, but bring them forwards now so we can feel that stretch in the hip flexor area. So I've got a string on my hips, you pull that string forward, I've got your string pulling forward, pushing the hips forward. And once you get to think your maximum, push a bit further till you get the glutes engaging. So squeeze the bum or the butt at the same time and really push them forward. Now come up on the toes. Nice stretch for the abs, that is it, that's it working. And now take the hips to the rear. I'll put my hands on my hips, that works it work as a hinge. And I'm slowly taking that chest down. Got a nice stretch, the hamstrings. It's not going to go past the 15, because I'm still pulling those toes up off the floor and curling the toes up. There, getting the chest nice and parallel. Couple more, there's one, there's two, then back up. Imagine you string chest top of the head, so we've got that motion there going on. The chest coming up and forth up the bows of the ship coming up the ocean, and the head's coming up at the same time, because we're rolling those feet, and you get a nice, so the, the spine, s shape. you get like a ripple effect coming through the spine. Bit like some, we're like snakes sideways on with the spine doing that. There we go. Nice up and down, up on the toes. Now roll it forwards. Let's get higher on those toes. Roll forwards and increase. Roll forwards, increase. Working those calves. Back of the hands facing me. Shoulder at the front. And nice cool air going over the arms. There. Shoulder height, pushing out to the rear. Just relax, not putting any extra effort in it yet. Just get the rotator cuff nicely warmed up. And the first position we'll go to, let's go to the rear today. There, push the arms to the rear. Imaginary rocks in the palms of the hands. We bend forward from the hips. I'm still coming up on the heels, obviously rolling those feet, curling the toes up. Now I'm gonna start coming back upright and double new position. There we go. There. So I'm getting A4 paper between the scapulas and slowly but surely bringing those scapulas together. Now I'm opening the hands up, spreading out the hands. So stretch out the little fingers away from the thumb and that gets all the hand at the same time. Scapulas, we're gonna see sparks and bones clicking in the back, guys. There, I'm getting it further back. Now come up on the toes, keep the hands going and focus on the hands and toes and you'll actually increase everything and join the dots right through the body. Good stability. Right, hands straight up in the air. Relaxed at first, just sweeping them up towards the ceiling. There, and that's a nice stretch. Now up on the toes, try and touch the ceiling, and that increases everything all the way up. All up we go. Good. Oh, that feels good. Oh, well, let's just carry on doing this for another half an hour. There's three and two. Back to shoulder height from there, and two for the price of one. Just roll that forwards. Now make sure you're pushing those arms to the rear as far as you can with the hands. You're getting forward on those toes 
and you do a split second pause to the front, which you have to actually look really closely to see anybody stopping. We can feel it because that means we've got good control. So basically, as soon as your brain says, I've got control, got good balance, that's your tiny split second, and we take it back again. There, good. And a count, 10, three, and two, and a one. And gently shake everything up, adjust this camera, because I'll be a bit close later. Yeah, that's better. All right. Good. From there then, hands to the side, lean over any side you want to. There. Feel the stretch in the waistline. Don't go any further. So Nilka from yesterday, you might be starting to feel a little, little, slight little aches and a bit of tightness from yesterday's session. Bring it upwards and over the other side. There. Oh, because I certainly can. We're doing them some nice slow, slow side bends yesterday, weren't we? Bringing that back up, looking good. Bringing the pointy fingers out, putting the concrete trousers on, and three times either side, guys. Round we go. And I've got tightness in the shoulder and bringing it back. We're not going to get so much. Remember, we do this when we very first start. We get a different effect. We have got the juices flowing through the body. We have got a warm-up going. We're slowly taking this around. So there's no rules about where the spinal mobilization should be before an exercise. Only rule is do two before you do an exercise. Last one this side. I'm bringing it back. As far as stretching goes, not rules. It's all, remember, it's all guidance, guys. It's all guidance. When you get to a hot country, they don't necessarily believe in pre-stretching. Well, because the muscles are warm all the time, aren't they? Okay. Hold the thumb. Rotate those shoulders forwards. Tingly feeling down the spine, number one. Rotate them to the rear. Good. Take the hands up and out. Turn the palms over the ceiling. Nice big breath. Exhale to the heart. Elbows nice and low. Palms together. Thumb touch in the sternum. Focus. P for posture. Nice soft knees. 30%. Imaginary string. Sweep the arms out again. Knees just off lock. Turn the hands up. Now spread those fingers. Really stretch those hands open. Try and push the, pull the fingers away from the thumbs. Big stretch palm of the hands. Big breath in, you know what's coming next. Exhale down, elbows high. Three second isometric push in. Go. Two, three. Hook the hands over. Three second pull apart. Go. Two. And a three. Drop the hands down, guys. Spider legs into the side of the hips. Good posture. Nice upright. Look up towards the corner of your room. Three second push in. Go, one, and two, and three. Relax, bring the hands to the front. Straight your hand up. First couple of seconds, push the palms in, and then let's spread down the fingers and push those together and the thumb. Go, push in, fingers, three, two, one, and relax it down. Shake it out, good habits. Mexican wave of the fingers, rub the back of the wrists. Get them shook out. Let's get to the beam and do some nice three step. The past couple of beam, times we used the beam, we haven't done much more stepping, have we? Right foot the front, left foot behind. If you're on the beam, drop the heel over the beam. Bring it back up. Feel the stretch in that calf and then bring it back up again. I'll do it two or three times long before I get a habit going to. Heels forward, two or three inches. If you're on your tape, you guys watching press and play later center of that tape and on the be more tape imagine it's length it's not just five foot long it's spreading out in front of us it's three steps heel to toe here we go guys one two three and rolling it back to three and two and one and just keep that speed going it's almost it's super slow isn't it it's there but feel how the body wants to move a bit faster because when you're balancing it's more difficult to move slowly. Just keep that movement going up and down the beat. There, I had a bit of wobble there, but no hangovers. And just rolling it back. So it doesn't matter if I'm at the front of the beam, you're to the back. Just main focus is rolling those feet. I tell you what, we did classes all over Christmas and the year, didn't we? We didn't have a break, but doesn't it feel like we did? <laughs> it just does. And back. Last one to the front, off we go. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, back of the beam. Toe heel, toe heel, toe heel. Let's take the hands up and out. Look fantastic, feel fantastic. Turn them up first, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Going to squish them out and a rotation. Turn them up again, breathe in. 
exhale down to the heart, squish them out, back round to me. Something we haven't done for a long time in being Lattes. We haven't done it this year. Okay. Keep the hands here, crucifix or T-shaped position. Off we go. One, two, three. And back for three. And two. And one. Turn the hands up. Tall tower, relaxed elbows. And go. One, two, three. And back for three. And two. And a one. Lock the thumb, bring it to the front, that position there, and go for one, and two, and three, and back for three, and two, and a one. Stand easy position, same again, guys. It's about now thinking to myself, have we been ignoring three-step beam walk? Because I'm having to work really hard to keep my feet in line and get good techniques going there and back. And done, almost got a wobble there. Hands to the side, last one, locking them down to the sides. And off we go for three and two and one. And back for one and two and a three. Take the hands up and out, staying on this side. Dip it down and swan wing it down and back. Step forward one and swan wing down, graceful and back. And again, we step. It's going to do this four times. Remember, we did a one before we stepped out. So we're not to get confused. We step forward again, last one. And down we go, wipes of the eyes there. And back up. And then we reverse back. Spatial awareness with a step. And arc it down. And back. Graceful posture, poise. Good mental focus with a step. And a dip again. And up we come. If I've counted correctly, yes. There's, there's nothing worse than stepping back on a beam and realizing you're at the back and your foot misses it. Turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, lock the thumb, push it to the forwards. Ready? We dip down there. Back foot is flat on the beam. The, uh, the, sorry, the front foot's flat on the beam. The back foot comes up onto the toes. Dip it down there and back. This is imaginary little foam pillar to the front we dip down and come back up lbt is working already off we go to the front deep core dip it down and the back looking good and stepping back heart rate coming up respiration rate coming up starting to glow already and there and back we go to here and i've not even had a cup of baby special coffee yet hint there and back step and down we go now we can feel the hard work that's a full body. Feel the spine working, guys. Take those hands out. Keep the foam pillars there now and push them down into the floor. That's different to the swan wings. Here we go. Last one this side with a step. And depth. we open with lots of three steps. Get the focus in. And now, big time, full body. Good focus. There. Last one to the front is there stepping out. And a dip. Good stuff. And that was really close there, aren't we? And stepping backwards for one. And a dip. I was almost in your living rooms. Up we go. Stepping back there. And we dip again. Push it down. We get a nice stretch at the same time. Last one coming back for a pause and hold. And a dip. And up. And a rotation. Hands up. Breathe. Exhale down to the heart. Squish those hands out. Bring it back around to me. And arc it down, shake it out, step away from the beam, let everything recover, guys. Nice little shake out. Good rotations of the shoulders, good habits on the hands. You're making that movement look really easy. It's powerful, it's balanced, it's everything with beam lattice. Getting back to the beam, guys. Other side then, other foot to the front, drop that heel over and push it down two or three times. Do your own natural little stretch. Don't wait for me to say so. Let's push it down. That feels good. Bring it back, heel forwards. Then I think of the exercise. So you think we don't know what the exercise is took. Three steps. Always just picture your three steps, feet on the beam, equal body weight distribution. Go this side. One and two and three. And after all that, I still had a wobble on that second step. What's that all about? And two and three. One more time this side. Here we go. Three and two and one. And back of the beam for one and two. And three pause, bouncing the body off, take them up, swish them out, turn them up, breathe in. 
Arcs and circles, guys, looking fantastic. Squish it out, rotate around. Good posture, poise, breathe up. Here we go. Exhale, squish. It's back to me. It's the swan wings. Here we go. We arc it down. Curve those hands down. Think arcs and circles and step there. And down we go again. And up we come. That's nice movements. And step. And down we go again. Good stuff. And back to here. And last one to the front is there. And we arc it down. So I get a slight movement done as if they're, if my arms are wings, stepping backwards. I curve up. Then they come down, sweeping them down and back. The depth I'm getting to, my fingers are just kissing the top of the beam as I come down and back. Whites of the eyes looking at you, not looking down towards the floor. Ears, shoulders, hips, past your line. Fantastic posture. Pause and hold there. This side, breath in. Here we go. Sweep them up and breathe. Exhale down. Squish those hands out. I'm going to lock them down to the side, this side. I'm not doing exactly the same as the other, other, other way stepping. Off we go. And one. And two. And three. Pencil shapes. And back we go for three. And two. And a one. Let's keep the fingers still, pushing the fingertips down towards the floor as we dip down, keep the arms straight, and we come back up again. There. Then we step. So we're doing the same movement, different way this side, as we come back there, keeps the brain focused, and down we go there, and back up again. Last one to the front, here. I can feel... Just above the ankles, the legs working really hard, keeping me on the beam, stepping back to here and pushing those arms down straight there and back and back again there. And we dip down all those calories, LBTs, guys. Good. Body sculpting. Oh, I'm getting my steps right as well. And down we go. And up we come, looking fantastic. Take the hands up, lock the thumb to the front. Three steps to the front for one and two and three and return three and two and one one more time one heel toe heel toe spatial awareness toe heel toe heel toe heel pause push down and then back good and step and down we go again that's nice straight arms well done good and stepping forwards there and down we go good there whites of the eyes all staring at each other out make my eyes go big at the front of your screen good hope it's not a big television stepping backwards so there so still looking at equal body weight distribution when we get that in look how those feet relax the toes relax dipping it down the feet get nice and toasty warm up we come and stepping back last one Heart rate respiration rate is up as we push down. We come up to here, take them out, turn them up and breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, looking good. Squishing the hands out. Crucifix or T-shaped position, push the foam down this time, no swan wings, and we stand back up. Gonna reverse this one, step forward one, and we push again there, and back up. Half speed as if we're doing beam fit, guys, and that's where I see a big difference And you guys do beam artists. When you do the beam fit, you can tell the difference. Stepping forward, last one to there. And we dip down. Front foot staying flat. Back foot up on the toes there. And I'm stepping back there. We're almost done with this big, big movement. There we go. And stepping back to here. And down. And watch those shoulders. I know they're working hard. We're almost done. And we step back to here. And we push down again. We can give them a very slight rest by turning the palms up and breathing in. Exhale down to the heart, pause, hold for two, and a one, squishing them out, it's three steps, off we go for one, and two, and three, and back. One more movement to do after this one, here we go there, we pause, turn the hands up, relax tall tower, and dip, as long as the hands are above the head, we're nice and happy there, and step forward one, and with the effort, hands above the head, feel that? Right down the spine, and now that L1 to L5 section working super hard. Out we go. Hip flexors working super hard as well. All LBT work going on there. Done. And we do body sculpting, two of our favorite words. Up we come. And a return. Step. And we dip. Isn't it amazing? If I said, next lesson, we're going to do, or whatever fitness class we're doing, we're going to do 100 squats or sit ups, it'd be like, 
Nobody turn up. <laughs> we'll, we'll teach him a lesson, dip we down. But look what you've done so far. Achieving, looking fantastic. Three steps, go. One, two, three. The abs working. Back, three, and two, and a one. The hands are here. It's a rotation, guys. Round we go, turn the hands up, breathe. Exhale down, squishing them out, back round towards me. Going to arc them down because the shoulders need it. Hold the thumb, rotating them forwards two or three, then to the rear two or three. And that deserves a clap from me. Fantastic. Going to swap those feet over to here. Okay, going to keep these LBT things going. I'm dropping down my left foot to the floor. We're only doing one of these. Don't think we're going to, I'm going to put the three together. The position we're going to have is the toe on the floor level with the heel. So my front foot is the foot on the beam, basically. Nice and straight. Now, look at your beam and have that foot sort of nice and straight because you can be on the beam and it can be a little bit out to the side. You don't get a hangover. Nice and straight. So it's a little rail, mini railway tracks, isn't it? Here we go. Just dip it down and back and down and back. That's it. Nicely dip and back. Now take that butt down a bit further. Keep the feet nice and flat. Equal body distribution throughout the feet. That's a huge stretch as well. That back leg is getting a nice stretch down through the Achilles to the sole of the foot as well. There. On the move now, take the hands up and out. We hold that one and we dip. We're back in that full body. It's the same move we did before, but look at the difference. And you guys on the beam with one foot being higher than the other, have got your pelvic floor offset and it likes it because it's more natural because the floor you walk on, the pavements and the ground you walk on are hardly ever flat. It's swan wings. Here we go. Down. And back. Now think gracefulness. There. And back. Gymnast guys. Power, graceful, super fit. Top four of people who are of fitness. Last one is there. And up. We'll be bringing the hands to the front. And I push down now. And back. We're going to do a bit of a new one in a second. There. And back. As I stand up, the hands are going to come above the head. Imagine I've got a torch light in my palms, my hands. It's going to be there. And up. And then back down there. As we sweep up now, take the palms slightly to the rear. So if you're in a very slight banana shape, bring that back down and push. Two left, there's one. And back down to there. And then up and to there. Fantastic. And push down. Then sweep them out. And to finish it off, swan wings down and back. Three of those. There's one. There's a two. Looking good. And there's three. Up we come, pause, hold, and rotate round to the side that your foot is on the beam. Turn the hands up and breathe. Feel the difference how the body reacts. Exhale down to the heart. Squish it out. Back round to me. I'm going to arc it down, guys, and give it a nice shake out. Step away from the beam and give it a shake. Rotating the body, twisting it, unusual positions. It's liking it. Good. Work it hard. Going to balance it off. Place the other foot on the beam. Take time to make sure it's nice and straight because in beam lattes, we've got that time. We can do that, haven't we? There. Other foot then. The toe is level with the heel. Equal. But now, Alec, for a second there, I have my granddad's socks and slippers on. So they're off. Got the feet nice and flat. Equal body of distribution. Ready? Just dip and back. Guys, we've done this exercise so many times. We first saw this in beam fit, didn't we? And it was three times faster than this. There. And back. Good. So remember, talking yesterday, more of those medium pace nail clip sessions where we are focusing on executing our, our posture and the exercise correctly and looking at endurance. So less exercises, but done for longer, dipping it down and back. So we'll have more of those in the coming season, whatever our fitness season is, along with every so often on the medium pace ones. I'll put it in where we work it up, we energize and go a little bit quicker to the normal routine. So we get that difference and we bring it back down again in our last session. Good. Last one of these, dipping it down. Up we come, hands come up and out. And I'm pushing down those imaginary foam pillars because the Christmas trees have been packed away. Dipping it down. And back. The heel on the floor is very tempting. It wants to come off the floor. And the toes want to take the Why? Because that way I dip down a bit further. But we don't want that because we get elasticity at the same time. We're doing swan wings this side. So again, doing the same exercise, one side of the beam as the other. 
but executing them in a different way so we don't get conditioned. There, up we come. Keeps the mental focus going. Down we go. My fingertips just kiss the top of the beam that time. Two left. There's one. And back. Here we go for two. And up. Locking the thumbs to the front. And I'm just going to push that foam down. And back there. I appreciate right now those thighs are going to start feeling a little bit tired. And I know Ali in particular because she was walking with the dogs yesterday and those walking poles. Keep it going, guys. Be machines now. We are almost done. Here we go. Taking the hands straight up, curve back, and then sweep them down. There. Focus on the hands now. There. The arms are doing more work. So the legs feel like they're getting a bit of a relax. Up we come and lean it back and in. There. That little arm movement there, look how that changes everything. But look how you're keeping your balance. The core's getting super engaged, emanating from the spine all the way through the body. That's the last one of those. Take the hands out, turn them up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, squish it out and rotate round towards the leg that's on the beam. Turn them up again, breathe in. Feel the difference how that body reacts down the spinal column. Exhale down, squish. Back round to me. Oh, I'm sweating. Arc oh, it down and give it a shake out. Step away. Shake everything out, guys. We're liking that one. Okay, you've had a bit of rotation stuff going on with the knees there. Mm -hmm. Bring your feet either side of the beam now. So this is where we're using that beam as a measure. Palms of the hands onto the kneecaps to here. And just think about the knees rotating. There. Keep the insteps alongside that beam so you get no rotation of the feet and turn them round there. All those muscles just been working there, like in that one. Take it back around the other way. There. Good. So I'm getting a bit of requesting at the same time. Guys, remember, don't wait for the Saturday morning stretch. If you've got anything you think you need sorting, let me know. I can put it in the class. Take it back around the other way. There. Good. And back again. Notice I haven't said how many seconds or how many rotations. Just taking that round. Three, two, and a one. Slowly coming up. Take the hands up and out. Turn them up. Breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, squish them out and arc them down. Let's keep this focus thing going, shall we? Hip flexors, glutes, thumbs and butts, We're working through the body. Right foot to the front, left foot behind, heel over the back of the beam. Hands to our sternum. We're doing five flying angels. Each one, if you can, try and make the step a bit longer. And I don't mind if that means I'm going to do a short step the first one. It doesn't matter, guys. That's all okay. On the fifth one, we're going to stay down there. Okay. From here, we're ready. And one. That's my left knee clicking out. Back. And two. I step forward a little bit further. And there. And three. I've now just realised I've got to do a huge stride forward on the last one. I've stitched myself up here. There's four. Good. You're looking fantastic, by the way. It's there. Last one. And we're there. Oh, I can feel that like my hip flexor. Turn the hands up and breathe. Let's exhale down. Squish those hands to the front and hold that there. And just hold it for five, four, three, two, one. It's here and now to rotation. Round we go. Lots of movements, guys. Look at the balance. Look at the core. You can feel twitching down through the body. Activation of muscle groups. Bring it back end towards me. We like this one. Beam fit statue. Have you got a beam fit statue on your roof after Christmas? Here we go. Back knee off the beam here. Lean over. Curve those hands up. We didn't put the hands on the knees today. Bit different this side. Now drop that back knee down to the beam. Look at the extra focus because we did it in a different way for the hamstrings working hard. Back to the feet. Reset. Three, two, and a one up we come. And there, and to the ear. So it doesn't matter. If you're using the on that one, if you bring little fingers together, it doesn't matter how far down you dip. Okay, and you bring it back up. That's all your control. Swap the feet over, guys. A nice switch back. Here we go. Looking good. Okay. Same this side, so exactly the same, hands are stone. However, take a second, think the exercise through, stand nice and tall, look good, control your first step coming out and increase each one if you can. Off we go, and one, and back, yeah, good. 
good. And to regular guys who do beam lattes, I notice you haven't got this thing as you feel that you want, you feel it want to speed up, but you control it. When people come on Pilates, Pilates, uh, beam lattes the first couple of times, sorry, he's breaking the teeth in, fourth one, I can see them want to get, they get a bit faster sometimes. And we're bringing that back. Good. Now that's control. See that? What's the straight lines? Last one. Down we go. And there. Right, you keep your arms there. There was so much straight lines coming through the screen there. That looked fantastic. Turn the hands up and breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Pause and hold it here this time on this side for three. And a two. And a one. Squish them out. It's the beam this statue first. Curve the hands up. Back knee coming off the beam. And looking over the cliff. Back leg straighten on the toes. This side, we're going to hold that for three, two, one. Back knee down to the beam. Palms on the floor. Rotation round we go. Good balance, good focus, concentration. My little brain cell working hard. We've held it this side for a couple of seconds. Now back round towards me. Reset back to the feet. Three, two, one. Up we come, guys. Sweep it back, dip it down, stand up. Fantastic. Arc it down, step away and shake it. Not about you. My lower legs working super hard. Give them a good shake out. Ankle rotations and everything else going at the same time as well. Okay. Let's have a little sit down on the beam with just my camera. Calf's halfway down the beam or hanging over the end. So I'm that position there. And I am here. Yes, that'll do nicely. Calves off with only in steps together, pull the toes towards the shins, and straight away I can see it on the screen. Everybody's sitting nice and upright, guys. Fantastic. Take the hands up and out. Turn the palms up, breathe in, hold at the top. There. Good. That's a fast breathing. Now bring those elbows together. And that naturally, I feel happens to the back. Okay, relax the elbows down again, bring them out. Feel that ease off. Push them back in. There. On the inhalation, now reach for the ceiling. Go. Oh, that's a fast breathing. Keep pushing up now. Normal breathing. Keep pushing up. Keep pushing up. Now keep the arms as long as you can and bring them back down to there. Two, three. Take the hands to the rear. Okay. You're going to do a modified daily challenge. Look where your toes are. We ready? Raise the heels up and hold. There. And the clock is on it, guys. Okay? It's modified. We're on the beam. And you can, if you've got your beams, guys, you can do your, your daily challenge this way. Keep holding their beam machines. Remember, you've just done a big workout, so you've got a bit of tightness there. Two and one. And lower back down. Good stuff. Okay. Modified. Turning over. I'm going to put my hands front of the beam. Left knee onto the beam. Okay, now don't tell those who haven't done click and play or done the test yet. They're going to be doing a plank. Our modified one is my left leg's on the beam, right leg to the rear. Raise up. Hold. Just hold that position there, guys. The muscles you're working now, are, it's more than doing a plank in a push-up position because your body wants to go over to one side. It also means you've got to do this twice. Lower that leg back down. Place that knee on the beam. Left leg to the rear or your right foot the other way around. Raise up. Point the toe and hold again. And just hold. Now you can feel your body wobbling left and right, can't you? You don't get that with a push-up plank. On the beam we do. Hold it there. Big core exercise. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. And the one, bring that leg back down, guys. Looking good. That's two done. Let's have a stand up. If you've got a wall, fantastic. If you haven't, it doesn't matter, okay? For the last one, how are we doing? The time. Brilliant. Oh, we've got this time. So I'm going to use the wall. If you haven't got the wall, the feet or railway tracks you with the part and you hold that position there, all right? It's an either or. I'll do the wall. Heels forward, toes. Down we go. Sitting, the clock started now. There. So I'm only looking at the window. I'm not even watching you guys. Just sitting here. This is my normal position when I watch a movie. 
not epic movies, so I can't watch, stay for three hours, two hours, 10 minutes maximum. <laughs> Don't believe me. Three, two, one, up we come, guys. We're there. Look at that. Put your beam back. We're in there. Gonna adjust the camera. Look at what we've got in a beam lattice session. Fantastic. Right. We've done what I want to do, but I want to do some bonus work with you, okay? Because you're so good. Right foot to front, left foot behind. Good. At the back of the beam, one step, go. Step and step. Now, I said back of the beam deliberately, because when you step backwards, I want you to focus on that step. Good. And Jersey boys, there, there. That's my third one. Now there. How many people have got a hang over the heel back of the beam? I have. There. Watch your front toe. It might want to claw into the beam. It's because you're at the back of the beam and normally you haven't got to focus on the length of the beam we're standing on. Three dips. One. And back. Two. And back. And three. And hold. Hands up and out. Swap those feet over to there. Back of the beam. Heel over the beam. Bring the forward two inches. Oh. You're looking to, you're just showing off. Nobody look there. Ready? And step back. So get the eye in with three steps there. How do you have that better this side? I bet you haven't got your hand on that heel. And Jersey boys, there. Got the wobbles, I have two there. The idea is no hangovers from now. It's three dips, go. One, and back, and two. And back, fantastic. Three and back. You look like a recording. Take the hands up and out, turn those palms up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Now hold that position there and think tall. Think nice and tall, hold that position while I come in and reset this because I've phoned up your partners. They've locked the door. You've got to stay for another 40 minutes. <laughs> okay, switch those hands out, guys. I think I pressed the button. I pressed the button so you can unmute if you want to. Did I do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. So we'll hold that. Palms towards me. Now come down to that semi-squat position to here. That's the position to clap. Three claps go. One, two, three. Hold, stand, step forward one. That position, three go. One, two, three. Yes, there. And now go crazy mad. Fantastic. I enjoyed that one, guys. Oh, I've got Wobbly Morrison's legs. Good. Stay <laughs> safe. Brilliant.